All right, what a great opportunity today to sit with uh, this lovely, beautiful lady competing in the Miss USA contest. I actually met Giselle months and months ago at Cipriani's down on Wall Street. She was there for the, uh, the big Donald Trump event that uh, Gavin Wax put on for the New York Young Republicans Club. That was quite a night. I actually sat with Trump and uh, we had dinner together, joked around a bit. He made a great speech, a 70-minute speech where he mentioned me twice. But is that about me? So I met uh, Giselle Tavares uh, that night, and it turns out she is once again competing for Miss USA, which is a very, very, very big deal. She's here early uh, this morning looking fantastic and ready to compete. So let me start with this, Giselle. Congratulations. How are you doing this morning? Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. I'm a big fan uh, of you. You know that. <laughs> and plus, I love Donald Trump. We're from Brazil. We love Donald Trump so much. And meet you that day, oh, my God, it's a bless. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun meeting you that night, too. And, yes, we both love Donald Trump. And, and we'll see what happens in November. Hopefully, Donald Trump, who was the 45th president of the United States, becomes the 47th president of the United States. But, but tell me about you. Tell me about this uh, this big competition and uh, why you wanted to do this in the first place. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm a journalist. I'm also author. I have a lot of books publishing, include I bring you a few books. And um, I compete for uh, Miss Brazil before. And uh, I become a citizen, American citizen. And I'm doing great here in America. I work for the fire department as a EMT and I serve the city. Uh, unfortunately, I got an injury, and, uh, but I continue to serve the city, and uh, I decided to be the voice for everybody. You know, I think I can be the voice for every woman, and uh, I decided to compete for the Miss New York USA. And, and Lord is your fur. His name is Severino, and he's, he's listening to you now, and he's love you. <laughs> That's Italians. great. That's great. All right, so here you are the voice uh, for all women. You decide to to compete in the, in the USA pageant. Like you said, you, you competed as Miss Brazil before, so you've done these pageants before, not your first time. No, it's not my first time. I have done 2015 for the, the state, uh, Miss Pernambuco, and in my country. I have done, let's see, uh, Miss Brazil, USA, the more beautiful woman uh, who's from Brazil who live here in USA. And uh, I was waiting for Miss Elegance. 2023. Awesome. All right. So now uh, you've you mentioned the fact earlier on this conversation, not only are you beautiful and trying to compete, to, or you are competing, trying to win Miss USA, but you're a journalist. And with you right now, you've got a couple of your books. You've written a bunch of different books. Tell me about some of those. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. So uh, the last book I published in Brazil, Include I Bring For You, I'm going to sign for you, Forever My Heart. It's a biography about my mother. She passed away in the pandemic. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. And I decided to, um, you know, writing about her so her memory is stay forever because I did everything for my mother and I really love her. And this is the reason I decided to um, work for the city as a EMT for the fire department and to save the city because of my mother. Because I like to, see, I want to saving people and and they're serving people like you do every day. You are the voice for New York. And I am very happy to be here. You have no idea. I'm, I'm shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking. <laughs> I can tell. Well, it's very, very nice. And uh, God bless your mother's soul. Uh, that is one book, Forever My Heart, about your late mother. God bless her. And you've got uh, two more books there. Yes. Uh, I, br I bring for you also One Minute's a Long Time. It's a poetry. It's my first book in English, published here in America. And I, I also, I brought for you. And uh, uh, all together, I have more than 20 books published. I just, wow. Yes. I just become a CEO from my only bookstores, and I help people in Brazil who have a talent and have no like uh, condition to uh, publish a book. So I support, and uh, I have a few connections. So we put everything together and public, publish people books. So when you walk around the streets of Brazil, I'm curious, because when I walk around the streets of New York, I mean, I'm not a major, major superstar, but... No, I get stopped every now and then, take a picture, sign an autograph, maybe more than every now and then, every day. But uh, when you walk the streets of Brazil, are you are you a big star back home? I used to be uh, like a high star back home, but in my state, yes, Pernambuco, a lot of people know me. So when normally when I do like publication, like, I, I, you know, a lot of people come and like, and they, a lot of people know me because I was in the newspaper, television. I also work in the radio before because I graduated as a journalist. I work in the newspaper and the radio, and I really love the communication. I can tell you're uh, you're a great communicator. You speak very well. You're enthusiastic, and you're 
you look great too. So, so what is, um, if I asked you where you'd rather live, everything being equal, same amount of money, same amount of uh, fringe benefits, do you like living in the United States or Brazil? Definitely in the United States. I love to be Brazilian, but I'm an American citizen, and I'm here to fight and uh, help America. And I'm going to be, the first time I'm going to be vote, because as a citizen, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. And do you find that your friends and family that you still have back in Brazil, do they like President Donald Trump uh, back home or not really? My dear. Everybody in Brazil loves Donald Trump. They love him. We Brazilian, you love him. <laughs> we love him. <laughs> My family love him. They support him. We totally love Donald Trump. This is the reason I go to the gala event just to see him. But I was so sad because I don't get my picture next to him. I and know, I, I know you I were sad. Him, I brought my book to give to Donald yes. Trump to tell how much I love him. For many years, I always dream about to live in America, to come here to meet Donald Trump. He's a great president. He did so much for American citizens, and I really appreciate him. And I can't wait to vote for Donald Trump as American. That is awesome. Giselle Tavares is about to compete for the Miss USA pageant. So. Uh, in this pageant, uh, look, I haven't watched a lot of these pageants for a long time, but there was an interview, there was uh, one part where the girls wore bikinis. They may have changed all that over the years. What exactly do you do in this competition? Well, uh, in the competition, they're going to have an uh, uh, interview. They're going to get to know you, what you're doing. What, you know, as, as, a, as a person who lives here for more than 90 years, I have done a lot. I work also in Brooklyn. I'm a volunteer. I help feed in the community and the homeless. And uh, they're going to interview me on Saturday about everything I've done in my life. And uh, the final competition is going to be on Sunday when finally going to decide for the more beautiful girl, not only for the beautiful outside, but inside. Yes. And what I have done. Of course, they're going to have the bikini and also the, the dress. dress. The yeah. gown looks lovely. And how many girls are competing against you in this? Oh, my God. It's a... Everybody's so beautiful. It's more than 180 girls. Oh, my God. That's a lot of girls. I know. It's <laughs> yeah. going to be a tough competition, Sid. Yeah, are you friendly with any of these other girls or not really? No, I don't know any girls. Yeah. Really, we met in the orientation day, but I, I don't really know. We're going to get it to know on the Friday. We, they start on 20, uh, yes, uh, 28, 29, and 30. So we're going to get it to know everybody on Friday in Albany, New York. Oh, very nice. So you're going to find out on Sunday whether you win or not. And then what else do you have coming up down the road? Again, you've written over 20 books. You're competing in all these pageants. You're uh, clearly a big-time great American. You love the, uh, Donald Trump. Uh, you did work for the fire department. You've got a bad back injury, so you're not doing yes. that right now. So what else is coming up on the horizon for you? Yes, I'll thank you for asking, Sid. You're excellent. So I like to say also I am a marketing director for a big corporation in Alaska for the CEO, Simon Evans, uh, Frozen Foundation System. We help a lot of Native Alaska, and I did a lot of marketing for the community and work with a lot of people. Well, who this also makes sense because you actually at one point uh, represented Alaska in these competitions. Yes, in the Miss Alaska, yes. And uh, also I met with Lisa McCaskey, who is a Republican, and everybody in Alaska loved Donald Trump. He's a big supporter. Just to say, I met so many people in Alaska, and everybody say, Oh my God, I, I love your picture in the gala event, and we support Donald Trump, and they love, they really love. And I, I really, uh, I want to tell you also about my sponsors. I want to thank you first for the great opportunity sure. to be here. My pleasure. You amazing. Ah, thank on. you for supporting <laughs> Miss New York USA. I support me. And uh, I want to like also thank the Interstate Mechanical Service, Richard Tolley, the president, who also sponsored me. And... Uh, other people also do a sponsor me. It's a big list. It's 25 people and the other companies. And I was being flying private jet, more than three private jets. Wow. Yes. And uh, all like my friends coming together and say, no, I want to support Giselle. I want to let's do photo. And I expect to fly in one plane and do the photo. Now, everybody, pilots coming together. They, they organize for me like a, a, a VIP a car to pick me up in the airport. They brought me to the private jet. And then after they brought me to another private jet, let's take a ride. Let's take another one. So everybody come together because they know how much I work for New York City. I work for the fire department. I, I hurt my, my arm. I deal with injury. I know in physiotherapy. But I'm going to tell you, I want to continue to serve the city. It doesn't matter how. I want to be the voice like you are. Not like you because you're the <laughs> yeah. best. I don't want to compete with you. You know, yeah. see?
Uh, that's great. Thank you. Well, listen, uh, we're very, very proud of you, and uh, you look great, and uh, we really want you to win. We're all rooting for you here at WABC and all over New York City. you got a lot of fans out there, a lot of fans, Giselle. <laughs> so go out there and, uh, and go kick some ass and bring home the title. Bring home the Miss USA title back to... I'm going to try my best, but I, I am very happy for this great opportunity to be here. I'm telling you, I'm super nervous to be next to you. You are like a big celebrity. Well, thank you very much. That is uh, the lovely Giselle Tavares. She's competing for the United States, coming up in the Miss USA, coming up this weekend. She's smart. She's funny. She's a great American and certainly lovely as well. Giselle Tavares, good luck to you. Thank you so much, Sid. And uh, for the last message, I'd like to say... Uh, Donald Trump, I wish to meet you soon because I still need my pictures next to you. All right. Just <laughs> good luck. Nice to talk to you. Thanks so much. Good luck.